What's going on YouTube? Greenwood Evil here. Tonight we're talking about Forbidden Light. This past weekend I was at the um, pre-release. Um, Little Shop already is selling the set now, which is awesome. I like the quick turnaround from pre-release to buying the stuff because it used to be two weeks after you go to pre-release, then you can buy it. They kind of push theirs back a little bit. It's awesome the way it is. But look, so today, guys, we have eight packs of Forbidden Light to open, but that will be in a little bit. We're going to talk about the set first, um, my experience from this pre-release. Um, the big deal with this pre-release now is we are getting... Uh, non GX Ultra Beast, which is a big deal, um, because we have a lot of support in the new set for uh, for Ultra Beast. Like this card here, Beast Ring is really good. Apparently, um, it's a card everybody's after. I know uh, Zach was after it. Uh, you can play this card only if your opponent has exactly three or four prize cards remaining. Search your deck for up to two basic energies and attach them to one of your Ultra Beasts, then shuffle your deck. That's kind of disgusting. Um, not that it goes with this one particularly, but I mean, it probably works well with Buzzwall and whatnot with the decks that are already established. Um, so that's what I've noticed so far. See, I didn't go into this knowing any of the cards. I was so hyped for Ultra Prism that I jumped in. I looked at all the cards before they came out, so I knew what was coming. This time I really didn't know. So, um, the new, the new beast cards that work with the beast energy, beast ring, work with the uh, ultra beast is actually pretty fancy. So we'll probably see more ultra beast, uh, cards coming up, uh, ultra beast decks, excuse me, coming up in the near future. I also want to point out something guys, we are also getting a boatload of new re of reprints. You've seen it already with ultra prism and some other, of uh, some other sets that we are getting, um, different typed. Uh, from the other one they were in. So, like, you know, Gibble was a dragon. Now it's fighting. That's actually helpful. So it doesn't have the weakness to, um, to fairy anymore. But now it has weakness to grass, which could be a, a bit of a problem. But you don't see too many grass decks these days, which is pretty good. Uh, Empoleon was water. Now it's steel. Heatran was steel. Now it's fire. Torterra was grass. Now it's fighting. I mean, it, they're kind of clogging up the set now with a bunch of reprints. So it's kind of lame. But um, in the case of Gibble, it actually works out pretty interesting. Um, some of the the two the best pull I got from my packs, unfortunately, it wasn't godlike like last time. I got one card. I got the Lysander um, the Lysander Prism card for each of your fire Pokemon in play. Um, put a card from your opponent's discard pile into their lost zone. So that is interesting. Um, someone's got to help me on why we would use this. I feel like this is kind of that's a waste of time, um, unless something has not come out yet that will work well with this. Uh, I guess just to get rid of your opponent's Pokemon, uh, um, po opponent's deck. I don't know. No one really builds deck outs right now. Uh, so, but Lysander Prism is the best card I pulled. And then the best card that I traded for was Crush, uh, Crasher Wake. Um, discard two water energy from your hand. If you do, search your deck for up to two cards and put them into your hand and shuffle your deck. I traded one of the Beast Rings. The reverse is for it from Zach. He says I made a bad deal. I don't think I did. Well, you know, time will tell with that one. Uh, but I got a full art, so it's pretty neat uh, via trade. Let me quickly, guys, show you the deck I ran during pre-release. I did go 3-0. and I didn't lose. Um, I built a Psychic... A psychic uh, fighting deck. You guys will see why. Um, I pulled. What did I pull? Uh, promo card wise, I have um, Malamar. I got the Malamar promo card. So a lot of the stuff that came with uh, with the the uh, the pre built deck in the uh, Forbidden Light uh, deck builder box here was psychic and some fighting stuff like the lichen rock and whatever. Like this is the lichen rock that came with it. You got one of these, you got uh Malamar Malamar is pretty good. Um, but the combo that won all three games for me was, um, Uxi and, uh, Mesprit. So they all work together. All the, the, the triplets work together, which is pretty neat. Um, as elf, not that not that great. I like these two better. But Mesprit, let's read this one real quick, guys. 70 HP, Silent Waves. If you're if you have As Elf uh, in play, your opponent's Pokemon in play have no resistance. That's fine, not a big deal. That's not where I used it. Uh, I use it for Mind Splash. Two colorless for 20 plus. If Uxie is on your bench, this attack does 50 more damage. So I mean, so I would use like uh, in the deck, I would use. 
Uh, there's this new card. Uh, where is it? Uh, I forgot what it's called. Something memory. Uh, my, no, my, mysterious treasure. Discard a card from your hand if you do search deck for a psychic or or dragon Pokemon. Reveal it and put it into your hand. So I would just use that to get either me Mesprit or Uxi. Um, or Yuxi, however you pronounce it. I don't know. Um, but also, um, Memory Skip is a good move, for, uh, especially for um, pre-release battling. Uh, 30 damage, 1 Psychic. Choose one of your opponent's active Pokemon's attacks. That Pokemon cannot use that attack during your opponent's next turn. That is actually disgusting for pre-release. So I would lock the, my opponent down with Memory Skip. And then when time came, I would have Mesprit hit for 70 each turn. Uh, Malamar came into play with the Psychic Recharge once during your turn before you attack. You may attach a Psychic Energy card from your discard pile to one of your benched Pokemon. So that was actually pretty interesting. I really didn't get any of my uh, fighting Pokemon uh, going in this deck. I really didn't. It was all the Psychic Pokemon that came up. So clearly didn't need to even run the uh, fighting Pokemon. But a couple of combos I used was with Mesprit doing uh, 70 uh, doing seventy damage with Uxi on bench. I would run, I would hit with Kakui as well. Draw two cards, then do 20 more damage. That would be 90 damage, not too bad. Especially since a lot of people ran uh, fighting Pokemon uh, and there a lot of their weaknesses uh, in this set, or at least what people had in their decks, were weak to Psychic. So I was smacking for 140. So I it was actually Actually working out fairly well in my favor um, but that was the combo I went three and oh which is pretty neat I'd never done that before in a pre-release at least since um, Sun and Moon base when I got back into it uh, what else did I I have Zygarde I didn't even use Zygarde it was it was just a bench Pokemon um, that's the key when you're building a pre-release decks guys use any Pokemon that has uh, carless attacks that don't cost much to attack that can kind of put your opponent into a, a weird odd pickle that would be a problem in a pre-release match like uh, Uxie's Memory Skip, which is funny because I was playing against... Um, what did I play against? Uh, Magnezone, which also is a reprint. They change it from steel to electric. That's another story. But um, it only has one attack. So... When I hit with memory skip, I would just make them skip that attack, so that that kind of uh, put them into a little, little bit of a corner. Um, that was a deck I ran, pretty fun. Um, I guess they didn't want the energies back. I just realized that they usually say at the end, "Give your energies back." I didn't. I mean, if they want it back, I will give it to them. Oops. Um, I have way too many energies anyway. Let me put this deck back here. I have some code cards to show you guys uh, from Forbidden Light from. Um, from this past weekend, I have the seven code cards from the seven packs that I got during the pre-release. Let me move this stuff over. I have some code cards for you guys. These are all from uh, Forbidden Light. There you go. So, oh, I don't know why I went so fast on that one. So there's that one. And then there's that one. So you guys hopefully can get something nice out of here. Maybe someone's lucky enough to scoop more than one out of this. Um... But those were the those were the code cards from the pre-release. Pre-release was fun. Like I said, I didn't look up anything, so I wasn't as super hyped um, as I was with uh, Ultra Prism. I know that Greninja's in it, and Greninja's has an interesting ability, not as good as the Break Greninja, but still seems fun. I could be totally wrong. Could be some sort of deck that's that's killing all the tournaments in Japan. I don't know. Um, but let's get into this, guys. We're gonna open some packs here. Celebrate Forbidden Light. Uh, we have, we're going to kind of organize these. We have two Greninjas. Now, this is me. I don't know this character's name. I don't re I don't re recall it from the um, from uh, Sun and Moon. So we'll have to just go with it. Hopefully I pull one before we get to those packs. I'll leave that to last. We have um, Ultra Necrozma. We have two Zygards and two Greninjas. So we'll go like that. So we will open these up. I do have sleeves here somewhere. Yes, I have sleeves. Okay, we have sleeves. We're good. I have sleeves from when I did the binder, um, the binder show off, so that's cool. So let's get, let's get into this. Wow, these open up like really easily. Uh, code card for you guys once again. You guys are getting a lot of code cards today. Three cards to the front. Here we go. We have. We're gonna go a little bit slower this so I can read some of these. Ultra Recon Squad. Discard two Ultra Beast cards from your hand. Draw three cards for each you discard in that way. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, Amara, Amora. I don't know. I'm Aura. Oh, what is this? Move a special energy from one of your opponent's Pokemon to another one of their Pokemon. Entaporter? 
That's hilarious. Oh, you have a double colors energy there? No, not anymore. That's funny. Uh, we have Inke, Magnemite, Hone Edge, Cubone, Snover, Reverse Magneton, and a Meowstic regular rare. So nothing is it any good. Um, no. I'm not even going to read it because it is not. So nothing out of pack number one. Hopefully we can hit better on pack number two. All right, here we go. Code card for you guys. Enjoy. Let me know what you guys get. I know I say that all the time. No one ever listens to me. Um, we have ourselves Diggersby. I rhymed there. That was weird. Diggersby, Lady. What does Lady do? Search your deck for up to four basic energy cards. Reveal them. Put them into your hand. Ooh, that's right. Lady. Okay. I did see this card. Uh, this card will work really well with Magnazone. Get the energies to your hand. Magnazone can put them all down in the same turn. That's actually disgusting. Uh, Braxian? Bra I, don't, I don't see... I wasn't really familiar with... With... Uh, Braxian. I don't say Litleo, I know that. Finnegan. Clauncher. Vinicle. Rock Ruff. Reverse Heliolisk. Oh! And a... Na uh, Naganadel. Naganadel. So that's what that. So that's what this thing is. So I was. I was hilarious. I pulled one, guys. Naganadel EX. So there you go. So that's what that is. That's Naganadel E uh, GX. Excuse me, not EX. Naganadel GX. Naganadel. Naganadel. I'm saying it right. I'm not, but I'm saying it right. I think. That's awesome. We got a hit. So that's awesome. So we got one hit out of two packs. Naganadel. So now I know what it's called. Um, I'm also not keeping up with my. Uh, my stack maintenance over here. That's terrible. It's shame on me. All right, guys. Zygarde. Easy to remember. Zygarde pack next. All right. We got a code card for you guys right there. Hopefully, you guys can get something super fancy. Uh, we have ourselves a mysterious treasure. That's that card. That's really nice. Here's Azelf. Uh, 60 HP. Uh, this works with the other two. It's not that good, though. You can use this attack only if you go second and only on your first turn. Shuffle one of your opponent's bench Pokemon all cards attached to their deck. That's actually cool. Hypnoblast, your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep. Um, it doesn't seem like it works really well with the rest of them. Uh, Swoopa. No, Spupa. Spupa, that's it. Dewpiter. Scatterbug. Inkay. Goomy. Another... There's two Goomies in the set. They're really killing us with these these extra cards. Reverse Rock Ruff and a Dialga GX reprint, guys. It's a reprint. As you can see, it's not a dragon anymore. It is definitely steel. <coughs> this is actually pretty neat because it can fit a little bit better, I guess, with the um with the Magnazone and the Duskman Necrozma deck or whatever you want to build. The um the Magnazone. Not Magnazone, uh Metagross deck. So we have a second hit, guys. That is awesome. We are three packs in. We have five more to go. We have another Zygarde. I'm probably saying that dude's name super wrong. Naganadel. Mm. Let me know in the comments how bad I'm butchering that, guys. Uh, we have Hoopa. Lysander Labs. Pokemon tool cards in play have no effect. That's interesting. Go Goat. Clauncher. Hone Edge, Helioptile, Frofru, Gumi, Reverse Scatterbug, and a Florgus regular rare. So nothing fancy out of that pack. We are halfway done, guys. We have an Ultra Necrozma um, pack here, pack art. Can we keep this train rolling and actually get hits? Because I did not get anything really good from the pre-release. We already got two GXs so far. That is legit. Um, we have ourselves, focus in please, Diggers B, Heliolisk, Magneton, Gibble, Clauncher, Noibat, Pancham, Esper, Reverse, Barbar Barbarical, and a Rotom. A Rotom? There's a Rotom in the set, huh? If you have nine or more Pokemon tool cards in your discard pile, ignore all energy attached of each of this Pokemon's attacks. Plasma Slice for 120 damage. Ooh. That would have been really good if uh, if there was enough Pokemon tools that you got from the pre-release. That's a good pre-release uh, Pokemon. Very powerful. Naganadel, guys. Naganadel GX. I don't know if I'm saying it. Maybe just end up calling it Negan. But um, 
we have ourselves a code, another code card. Enjoy that. Three to the front. We have an Arachnid. I know how to pronounce that one. Ultra Space. Once during each player's turn, that player may search a deck for an Ultra Beast revealed and put into their hand. Ooh, that's going to be used a lot. Uh, Poipole, Clauncher, Noibat, Pancham, Esper, Execute, Reverse Gibble, and a Beast Ring. I am getting Beast Rings off the the hook over here that is awesome apparently it's a good card and a rare card and people want it so that's not bad we are six packs down guys we have two left naganadel gx uh cover art again hopefully we can get something really 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 awesome here we already got one reprint in a naganadel gx that's actually i'm i'm happy right now <laughs> I could do better, though. That would be really awesome. Could do definitely better. Mysterious Treasure. Metal Frying Pan's interesting, guys. It's a Pokemon tool. The steel Pokemon this card's attached to takes 30 less damage from opponent's attacks and has no weakness. Awesome card. Uh, we have Bonnie. You can play this card if there is a you can o you can play this card only if there is a stadium card in play. Discard that stadium card during this turn. Your Zygarde GX can use its GX attack even if you have already used your GX attack. There is our game breaker cards right there. Finnegan, Inkay, Pancham, Dupider, oops, Finnegan, Reverse Magnemite, and the Lolan Marowak regular rare. So we are down to our last pack magic, guys. One pack left. Here we go. Let's do this. Let's get something super fancy out of this last pack. You never know. Code card for you guys right there. Three cards to the front. We have ourselves. There's Mesprit, my MVP of pre-release. Floet, Heliolisk, Flabebe, Litleo, Cubone, Scatterbug, Snover, Reverse Go-Goat, and a Sylveon, a regular Sylveon. HP 90, one colorless for Wink Wink. Your opponent reveals their hand. You may discard a supporter card you find there and use the effect of that card as the effect of this attack. That's really cool. That's actually pretty fancy. And magical, magical shot for 41 fairy, one colorless. So that is an interesting card. Um, that is pretty much it, guys. Um... Forbidden Light looks pretty neat. We got two hits out of these packs. We got Dialga GX reprint, and we got ourselves a Naganadel GX. I think I'm saying that right. I'm probably butchering it, but it's fine. Whatever. Um, and then my, obviously my pull from we put sleeve that up. My pull from the uh, pre-release was the Lysander Prism card, which I'll sleeve, and then Crasher Wave, which was the trade that I got. Full art, awesome stuff. Um, more Forbidden Light coming up. Um, I wanted to open up some, some more, uh, Ultra Prism before this set came out, but I forgot that this was coming out so quickly. Um, what is all this? Oh, this is all that. Okay. So this is reverse hollow, hollow. So these go here. Just got to sort this out. This is a, this is uncommon. These go over here. Okay. Um, but yeah, so, uh, I wanted to do some Ultra Prism. Obviously not going to really get the chance because obviously I've been like came out. I may do some Ultra Prism in the future. Um, but I, like I said, that set, I pretty much tapped out on. I got everything I pretty much wanted, except for a hyper rare Dialga. I don't want to go searching for that because that set's old already. Um, and of course we have to figure out a card to search for in this set. I don't know what to look for. Um, haven't, I don't even really know what else is in the set. Uh, Grinja looks cool. Ultra Necrozma looks cool. So we'll, you know, comment below. Let me know what I should search, should search for. Um, Maybe it would be like, I don't know, maybe a, a full art trainer, whatever. The full art trainers are in this set. Uh, and Ultra Recon Squad is a full art, I think, in this set. Um, I, Beast Ring is Secret Rare. I saw that. Um, but that is pretty much it, guys. Of course, guys, if you liked the video, like it. Subscribe down below, left-hand corner. I'll pop other Pokemon-related videos and playlists up over here. Um, May the 4th coming up. I got some Star a Star Wars video coming up. Um, I'm going to do some more Forbidden Light, obviously. I want to do an ETB, I think. I think an Elite Trainer box would be fun, and I want to get a box at some point. I don't know if I'm going to buy, uh, I'm going to open the entire box in one video, though. I think I may buy the box like I did last time and do a bunch of pack battles. That was really, really, really fun. Um, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Anyway, guys, until next video, you guys what to do. Team Evil, take it easy. Peace.